Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to Welcome to the Club. We have just made our second signing of the summer, Leonardo Trossard. Um, you obviously might have already seen that. I've done this as a Brighton potential signing. I've had a few look at the stacks and I'll tell you a bit about them in a minute. But, um, you know, Leonardo, he has had, you know, the good speculation, how good he is. Um, my expectation is now, can he live up to the Premier League? Um, let's hope so. Um, just a bit of information. Um, some of it you may have heard before. Um, but there were bits in this that I didn't say in uh, potential signing, so you have to go back to that one and uh, double check. But it costs about 18 million, 20, well, 18 million the transfer, 20 million plus add ons. It works around about 23 million euros. Um, 24 years old, so he's a bit younger than what I am. He's just got married as well. So, congratulations to you, uh, Leonardo. I know I'm mispronouncing your first time, I do apologise. Um, but I think that's how we go pronounce over here. Um, he's got 11 goals in 24 appearances, 4 assists last season. Now, you look at that, and that don't look too bad, uh, no matter which way you look at it. Basically, I think it works out round about a goal every one point something. But I'm not really interested in that. But, you know, 20, 20 million. Um, let's go with the add-on fees as well. Um, I don't think that's a bad price. Just hope he can live up to the Premier League. Um, but I can't believe I'm saying this. Arsenal were interested in him. Um, Arsenal... Uh, Reports that we were going for a £22 million bid and Villa were trying to hijack him at the last minute. Uh, obviously it fell through. But, you know, we're playing with the likes of Arsenal. Um, now, from my point of view, that is excellent. From Arsenal's point of view, that is a bit of a downer. Trying to get players that, like Arsenal fans, we're going to say, like a little couple like Brighton. Um... But, yeah, playing with the likes of Arsenal. Um, a lot of you are probably going to laugh, but I did say to my dad, anyone in the Premier League could end up like Man City. Let me explain. If you look at Man City first time they came up to the Premier League, you know, Man United fans and Liverpool fans are saying, they ain't nowhere near uh, Man United uh, silverware. They ain't got to live up to the top of the Premier League. Now look where they are, nearly 10 years down the road. A um, bit more information on about Leonardo. Um, he plays the left wing position, uh, right foot. Uh, so his left wing is his main position. But this is where I think we're in for a bit of a surprise. I don't think we're going to use him in that position. His other positions cover a CEM and a second striker. So, like a Dale Stevens position and let's uh, pass on Gray's position. Um, you know, he's. I think he'll play in that centre. Uh, I've got. I've got. I'm sort of imagining a formation in my mind. Obviously, you have to wait for my walkthrough preview to find out what I'll go with. But I'm, I'm starting to get like imagination slightly in my mind, as I've just said. He's played 3,769 minutes uh, this season. That's in all games, um, especially for his club. Uh, kit number, expect it to be 14. He's wore 14 for the past three seasons from the club he's came from. Um, but as I said, don't. I haven't said it, but I am going to say it. Don't get anything printed yet. Wait to the club to confirm their kit numbers. Um, but, yeah, I'll be expecting them to wear number 14. Quite a weird number for a midfielder. The closest player, I think, that's wore that to a midfield was Thierry Henry, Liam Balligat, Caldron. You know, no one's actually wore in midfield. Um, he's played... He's he has played for Belgium, um, 29 appearances, 
for Belgium, under 16s, under 17s, under 18s, under 19s, under 21. So he's done that for the Belgium um, team. I think he scored once or twice for Belgium under 21s. Um, but yeah, another positive signing. Um, guys, who else would you like to see in this window? Put it down in the comments below. Do you believe we're going to make any more signings? Uh, just a quick reminder, the team's back in training on the 27th of June. The transfer window closes on the 8th of August, 5 o'clock. Uh, obviously, the season starts on the 10th of August. Uh, obviously, pro season's just around the corner, so guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.